Today I'm showing you how to use my new action, Artimate. It's all about creating movement in still images. So to start with, this action, you just need to load a JPEG file into your Photoshop ready to edit. And once you've loaded that in, you go to your actions that you've loaded up and you just hit play on new automate file. So now that you've set your file up with that action, the next action that you press is automate movement. And if you press play, That'll take you through to an instruction where it asks you to draw a marquee around the area that you would like to animate. Okay. So now you're ready to actually draw the marquee. So you hit stop, you go to your lasso tool and just draw around the area that you want to move. So I'm drawing around the area that is the water, just a really rough kind of draw and then you press play again and that will take you through to the next step. So the instruction that you're given now is to stretch and rotate using the free transform move tool to select an endpoint for your animation. So what you're trying to do here is work out where you want that animation to end. So if I press stop, I go to the free transform tool and just drag the corners to enlarge and move it down a little bit so I'm imagining the waters coming out and down in my animation. Double click. Okay so now you just need to brush out the areas that you don't want animated, that you don't want locked down. So if you press stop and you know you can actually have a look along the timeline to see what's not working for you. So right here I can see the lantern and the girl and I, I don't want that showing up in the animation so I'm just going to simply use my brush, soft brush and paint that area out and just leave the reflection of her in the water. So if I go through my timeline, it's always good to just double check how it's looking. If you see an area that you need to brush out at that point, you can sort of do that. You can turn your flow up and down as you need to as well. But you're just hiding those areas that you don't want animated. So that's looking pretty good. If I press play, it says that it's finished, ready to play. So let's have a look and see how it looks. So you can see the water is moving. It's just very subtle. So with cinemagraphs, you do want it to be subtle. The water is moving towards us. It looks like the waves are sort of lapping forward. All right, so this action, you can actually create extra movement. Uh, if you use the Artimate Movement Extra, you can create movement in different parts of your image. But I'm really happy with just the water moving in this one. All right, now that you've created your Artimate uh, cinemagraph, you're now ready to output it. If we press play, and let it process and open up. It takes a little while for it to show up. And so once you've done that, you press save and it will basically output it as a GIF that you can pop up on the web or anywhere. So let's see how that works.